Alright guys, welcome back to another M Creator building tutorial. So today I am going to explain a couple things about leaves, about logs, and um, you know general building tips for the trees and stuff like that. Now I have a few examples that we're going to be using in our maple forest here. Uh, as you can see, I've basically created them uh, using our custom leaves and our wood and uh, they all kind of have different shapes and sizes. Now they're not fully set up just yet. Uh, we still need to set the, um, what did you call it? The uh, decaying properties and stuff like that. So we'll do that in a second, but I wanted to take a extra second to kind of explain how leaves actually work. So first we have our log. Now this is under the log tag itself. So this basically holds properties for when, if there's leaves connected to it, it make sure the leaves don't get uh, actually decay. Now leaves actually have a certain um, decaying method of actually decaying. If you place down a, um, a leaf in the real world, then it's not going to obviously decay because um, it's placed down by the player. But um, when it's unable to basically decay, uh, anything that's connecting like this basically won't decay. But if it's like this and it's a unable to be decaying because it's not connected to this face here, it's going to basically uh, decay. So the same goes for corners like this. So making things like palm trees like that will not actually work. So you, if you wanted to do kind of like a palm tree thing, you actually have to make sure that all your leaves are connected somehow to your log. So in this case, this goes to this leaf here, that leaf goes to the center leaf, and then finally it goes to the log itself. Now, um, this is only if it actually decays. If it's placed by the player, then it won't decay automatically. Uh, for that, we actually need commands. Uh, I usually use the fill command. Uh, slash fill and then the location and then the look then the basically the other location so uh, for example slash fill and then the coordinate coordinate and then what block you basically want to fill it in now if you want to actually set leaves to decay uh, <laughs> decay uh, decay then all you need to do is basically set the, the same block so in our case it would be maple leaves and then you would basically just go and set it to replace and then with your maple leaves. So uh, maple forest, maple leaves, and then you would basically replace it with that. Now we're going to do that over here. These are all set up so the logs are connected properly to the leaves. And as you can see, none of them are not missing, like they're, none of them are on the corners like this or anything like that so they won't um, decay when they spawn in the world. Now one last thing that we actually need to take in consideration is all this blank space that is underneath the trees and around the trees. Now these are going to need something called structure voids uh, to allow other terrains uh, from basically giving priority. So structure voids basically help with things like if a tree spawned right here uh, because this tree is technically five blocks out, this block right here would end up removing all of that terrain up to that point because it's uh, two blocks from the center of it. Now the problem with that is um, sometimes you don't want that, especially with trees and other foliage and stuff like that, and that's where structure voids come in really handy. It basically gives this terrain here the priority to keep it still there. So when the tree spawns in, it won't just turn everything to air. If air is in the spot here without structure voids, it's going to turn to air when it spawns in. So what we need to do is we need to actually set the structure voids first. So um, we actually can set the decaying second. So what we're gonna do is we're going to just grab some a random block here uh, we can actually set this to cobblestone or whatever you want and then what we can do is we can go slash fill and then we'll set the coordinates of that block by looking at it 
make sure that it's outlined so um, our hit bar is on it so we can get the exact coordinates on the bottom here and then what we're going to do is we're just going to break that block and then we're going to go down to the other half of the block or the tree so right here and then what we're going to do is we're going to just go fill second location again make it sure that it's um, selected so you can actually grab the coordinates and then what you want to do is set structure and we want structure void replace error and then what you want to do is control a and then control c to copy that and then basically replace this block right here with just error uh, or remove it basically and then what you want to do is paste it in now you might have noticed right there we can see that there is a structure void so this one is currently set up now before you do anything else uh, basically what you want to do is you want to replace the leaves so the reason why we do this um, after the structure voids is uh, sometimes when you spawn in structure voids it can actually cut off certain parts of the tree and it will um, prevent it from getting the leaves to connect properly so some sort of bug with uh, Minecraft with structure voids so that's why we do the structure voids first and then the leaves second and it seems to hold the um, properties that it needs so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go maple and then we want maple leaves and then we're gonna replace and then we're going to replace it with itself so maple forest leaves and we should see Oh, hold on a second. Now it's starting to decay. Okay, I'm going to just quickly take a look. Oops, wrong button. So something might be off with our either our logs or leaves. So we should probably check that in the M crater before we go any further. So I'm just going to make sure, just check the properties on this, the left-hand side and it says uh, persistent false that's basically what the decaying part is so there's two things that could possibly be going wrong one our logs aren't properly set up or two our leaves but most likely our leaves are properly set up so it most likely it has to do with our logs let's go into M Crater and we'll just take a quick look at what our tags are and then we'll see if we can't get um, them properly set up. So let's take a look at the log tag. Now this should be enabled. Now this is the problem right here. Okay, so as you can see the leaves are under a block tag and I misplaced the blocks, the logs under a item tag. So this is why the items are, or the leaves are decaying is because this should be a block tag. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just remove this one here and I am going to create a new tag and I'm going to go um, logs and then block tag and then what I want to do is make sure that it's under blocks and then the Minecraft namespace and then we want just logs for our tag itself and then what we want to do is we want to put the logs under that category so again it should be logs minecraft blocks and then our log should go under this particular name names or tag name all right so save that you should have a yellow icon for your logs uh, tag and your leaves tag so let's go back into M or into the game and then we'll see if we can't get that um, working again. All right, so I've rebuilt the tree and uh, we should have all the blocks in the place. Now, as you can see that some of the blocks aren't decaying, so that's good. And what we're going to do is we're just going to make sure that our structure voids are still set up properly. I might have misplaced a few of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make sure that they're in the same places as they should be. So I'm going to just uh, find the existing one that I basically did. And then I'm going to just go fill and then the coordinates of that one. Again, it needs to be selected. And then we're going to go up at the top here. And hopefully there's one somewhere in the corner of this structure. This should be the one. So I'm going to just uh, select this coordinate and then I'm going to set structure voids and then replace and then error 
and we should have all our structure voids set up now. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically do the same thing, but for maple forest leaves, replace, and then maple forest leaves, and we shouldn't see it decaying now because we have the logs under the proper namespace. Now, once you have it set up like this, uh, what you want to do is just open up the F3 screen and just make sure that all your leaves that you can see are set to persistent false. Now, basically what this means is it will be enabling decaying. So when a player basically removes the logs, it'll go, okay, we need to just start decaying and then it will slowly drop itself and stuff like that. So that's basically all set up. So we're all good to go. Um, I don't think there's any green ones. If it's uh, persistent true, then it will come up as green. So we should be good to go on that one. Uh, let's do that again for this tree here, just to kind of show you again how it basically is set up. So what we're going to do is we're going to just place down cobblestone or some sort of block, and then we're going to go slash fill location again we have to be selecting it as you can see the little grid part that goes over the block the block is selecting the block that we're currently looking at and then what we want to do is basically go up here just go to the top of the structure and then what we want to do is go and set the second coordinates copy the coordinates by hitting control a and then control c break the block and then what we want to do is we want to go and set structure void and replace air and this should all be set up now so again if we look at the blocks right here it says persistent true so we don't want them to be set to persistent true we want them to be persistent false so basically to do that we just take that same coordinate that we just used and we set that to our maple forest or whatever namespace that your mod is and then we want our leaves block for that particular type. And then what we want to do is replace it with the same block. So in our case, we just set all the leaves in this particular um, area that we selected to false. So this one's set up ready for basically um, making a structure block out of it. I will quickly do these other two and then I'll cut back in and then I'll show you how to basically save the structure. All right, so now that we got all the different structure voids set up for the location, as again, you can kind of zoom in and you can kind of see them. Uh, you can also place down a structure block and you can actually enable the invisible entities and you can see them that way as well. But uh, what we need to do now is actually save these uh, particular trees as a actual structure. So for that, we're going to need to give ourselves a structure void so if you're not in creative then you should probably be in creative um, structure and then it's structure pardon me not structure void structure block and then what you want to do is you want to actually look at your axis uh, as you can see we are currently on the location where our axis is pointing where all those lines basically go away from the center uh, the bottom bottom corner of the axis point is where we need to put our structure void. So again, our blue is facing that way, our red is facing that way, and our green is facing up. So it's always going towards the positive location. Now, if you're not sure where the positive locations are, if you're looking at the direction on the fourth line down from the coordinates, it is called facing. Now, the positive coordinates for that is east, south, and up so we can't actually see up because it doesn't detect that direction but up is positive that's positive and that is positive so down is actually negative and then we have our west which is negative and north is negative you can actually follow the coordinates and you'll see them either go up or down based on basically the direction so as you can see on x because this is uh, going west uh, the x coordinates will go down if we go uh, north then the coordinates will actually go down as well because it's in the negative it's actually counting up because it's going lower into the negative numbers so again if we go up then you can see the coordinates go up if we go down then the coordinates go down for the y-axis 
So again, uh, just find where your structure is. Do not put them on the structure voids. Uh, make sure that it's just outside of your actual structure limit so it doesn't save it. And then what you want to do is you want to basically give it a name. So I'm going to call it maple um, tree and then I'm going to set one. And then what you want to do is you actually want to not save it first. You just want to click done and you want to count how many blocks away from the inner part here it is. So this is one, two, three, four, and five. So this is where the tree part ends. And we know that the um, Z coordinate is actually five as well because I've kept it pretty much the same. So what we need to do is we need to set the relative position to one, one, and one as long as it's in the ground below the structure on the axis corner. So if that's on the axis corner, all this needs to be one because the structure actually starts here. So we need to increase it by one for X, increase it for one by Z, and then we need to increase it one by our Y axis to get this block right here. All right, so now that we got that, we know that our coordinates for our structure are five and five on the X and Z axis. The other thing that we need to figure out is how tall the tree is. So this is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then 10. So we need to go 10 blocks high. So this is where our 10 number would come in. And then you could see that the, uh, the um, structure block actually outlines where our structure is going to be selected. Now there is a cap on how big this can be. So there is, uh, it can go up to 32 by 32. But uh, once you have the structure selected, what you want to do is just go and make sure that you have your name in here for your tree, and then you want to save it. And then it will say structure has been saved to the Minecraft, and then the location. Now this is saved to your Minecraft world, so when you exit out, make sure not to actually delete your world, or you're going to lose your structures before you can actually import it into Amp Creator. So that's uh, probably one of the most common mistakes as well as uh, not knowing how to set up the leaves properly. All right, so we're going to just do the same for the other structures. Again, I'll follow over this one just so you guys get the hang of it. So our structure void is right here. We know that the tree is five by five, so we need to kind of just place one just off centered on the bottom there. We're gonna click on the data button and then we're going to offset this by one. We're going to paste in our name and we're gonna set this to tree two. We're going to set this to five. I don't know what the coordinates are for that. So I'm just going to set it to one and then five again. So let's count how many blocks up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this one's eight tall. So we need to set this number to eight. And as you can see, it's perfectly aligned there. So what we want to do again is make sure that the name is different and we're going to save it. Now I'm going to do the other two trees and then I can show you how to import the structures into Imp Creator. Okay, so assuming that you haven't actually deleted the world after um, saving the structures, you'll be able to go under resources and then there will be one called structures and then you can import from structure from Minecraft and then all your structures and the world name will be located here. So in our case that the world that I basically built it in is just called new world. And then it says maple tree one maple tree two and all our structure names below it so what we want to do is we want to select it just import it and we're going to do that for all of our trees that we basically created so once you've done that you're ready to move on to the next step but um, after that what we're going to do in the next uh, part is actually make the biome we're going to import our custom trees uh, well through structures and then we're going to do a whole bunch of other stuff but we need to make our biome first before we can actually start importing the trees and stuff like that so that will we'll be focusing mainly on the biome itself next episode and then what we can do after that was we can get the trees and stuff set in and then we can actually start working with um, checking it out so outside of that if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video by clicking the thumbs up or thumbs down button and i will see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out